So in class today, you did the mirror problem, where the goal was to make accurate enough measures that you could set up a diagram that allowed you to use similar triangles. You know they were similar by angle-angle similarity because of this right triangle relationship and because of the rigid transformation reflection that maps this angle onto this one. The light from your standing eye reflects at the same angle as the light from your reflected eye. Therefore, this angle here has to be the same. So there's no other way to build triangles except in a similar fashion. So 200 centimeters here, your calculated, your measured height here, your partner's measured height here. And you used angle-angle similarity to justify a proportional relationship between my height and 200 centimeters and my partner's height and this unknown value to set up the situation. So that's a great way to use proportional to use similar triangles and proportionality. We're going to take a look at 3-106 on page 195. So open up to page 195 and look at example 3-106. And I'd like you to stop the tape, so press stop and please read 3-106. And now that you've read through 3-106, I want you to pause the tape again and diagram it. And let's take a look at the triangles we know that exist in LaToya's situation. So each of these angles is similar because of the fact that these vertical distances are parallel. And in the situation, this line is a continuation of this line, which is a continuation of this line. So they're the same line. Therefore, they can be considered a transversal. So these triangles exist in this situation. What I don't know, though, is this distance between LaToya 
and where the camera is being held. So let's think about that a little bit more. What if we use the fact that her six foot tall father is part of a larger triangular situation here. Six foot tall dad. If this whole height is six feet tall, but Latoya's camera is two feet above the ground, then this is four feet. Now the distance from camera to dad was 12 feet. And the distance from the ground to the, from dad to the clock tower was 930 feet. So if we eliminate this two foot portion of the situation, we don't need to worry about the distance from Latoya to the camera. And we still have these similar angles, and we still have a right angle here. So the two triangles we can focus on are the 12 is to 4 feet, as the larger triangle, which is 930 plus 12, so 942 feet to the height of the clock tower. These angles are still congruent, and we still have a right angle, so we're still using angle-angle similarity. And this angle is included in both triangles. This is this angle right here. So 4 is to 12 as y is to 942. It's easier to reduce 4 twelfths to 1 third. Nine forty two is a multiple of three, so let's multiply both sides by the lowest common multiple of these two denominators, nine forty two. And we have y equals nine forty two divided by three. Or three one four, three hundred and fourteen feet for the height of the clock tower from the camera to the ground. So there's the caveat. This is from the camera to the ground. If the question is how far is the clock tower, top of the clock tower from the ground, we have a height of 16 feet. From the ground to the top of the clock tower. And we're also going to take a look at 3-107. So go read 3-107 and diagram the situation. So hit pause. You're being asked to look for similar triangles in the drawing. Two right triangles that must be similar in that drawing. So consider whether you have a transversal that gives you an angle relationship or whether you have an angle that is shared in both triangles. So you've read the problem, you know what you're looking for. 
and you have found the three triangles in this situation. Here's one. Here's one. And there's one triangle. ABC. So we have triangle ABD. We have triangle ADC. We have triangle ADB. Oop, ABC. ABC. These are all right triangles. Carol argues that DB, ratio between DB and AB is the same as the ratio between AB and CB, and that the ratio between DC and AC equals the ratio between AC and BC, and you're asked to decide why or why not. So stop and think about that. Is there a reason to conclude that DB has a relationship with AB that might be the same as AB's relationship with CB? So what can we show? We can show that there is indeed a right angle in each of these triangles. We can show that C is shared between triangles ACB and triangles ADC. So these two share C and a right angle. So these two are similar. And angle B is in triangle ABD, and it's in triangle ABC. So these two share B and a right angle. So these two are similar. If ABD is similar to ABC and ABC is similar to ADC, then all three triangles are similar to each other. So yes, we can establish the relationship that DB, <coughs> the short leg of triangle ADB, and AB, the short leg of triangle ABC, has the same relationship as AB to CB. B. AD being the short leg to AB, we have short leg to hypotenuse, here, and in AB to CB we have short leg to hypotenuse, here. And DC, we have long leg to hypotenuse. And AC to BC, we have long leg to hypotenuse. That covers 3-107A and B, and that is as much as I need you to be aware of. If you're interested in the rest of this proof, then by all means, continue to read through C, D, E, and F, forming your own justifications.